What's up? Um, welcome to the Tank Lip Diaries Blog Part 1. Although if you've ever tuned in to the Tank Lip YouTube channel, you would know um, there's definitely like a lot of like Blog Part 1. So I'm calling this the Tank Lip Diaries just to like kind of encapsulate like I'm kind of giving y'all a summary of like each day or like catching y'all up from like where I leave off. Um, I've been frustrated that some of my goals for like a miracle on my life so that then I could perform miracles on others, um, like that hasn't happened. Um, yet like maybe there have been some miracles and I'm not like conscious or aware of it yet and like some amazing things are happening that are like saving my ass um from like worse hells if you will I know some of y'all don't find it real negative um if a person like even uses the word hell or like uses the word devil, it's like blasphemy kind of like for some people. It's like, you know, hear no evil, see no evil. So like to say the name hell or devil is like to give power to it. Like I get that, but like y'all don't get it. I've like been going through like a version of hell. Um, I live like, in what ordinarily would be like an awesome neighborhood. Um, so as far as that goes, and this is like long overdue, I should have like started these blogs at least like a month or two before the summer of 2019. But I guess, I don't know. Either people are lying to me that there's no TV show of my life or movie of my life or like I'm really sick and delusional and my mental illness has gotten worse. Those are basically the two options on that because um, what's going on in my neighborhood is like so profoundly like something, like some phenomenon that certainly like it would make a great TV show as long as I was in it. If I'm not in it, then I don't think anyone should have the show. That's just my thing. Like, fuck that. I was the first one to live in this neighborhood. So, that's just kind of fucked up. Um, that's just a quick take on that. So, I'm kind of like having to rewind. Like, I really just want to do a diary of my day. Like, when you've, like, missed so much details of, like, stuff and you've done your best to, like, put them in your rap songs, <laughs> like, there's really no sense in trying to rewind too much for, like, viewers to get what's going on because probably there is a show and you're just being lied to. Or maybe it's like the new version of the Truman Show. Like there's a show, everyone knows who you are, which is kind of like what it feels like, but no one will tell you. So I'm like the man with mental illness that's being caused to get triggered and go even crazier than I ordinarily would be from my mental illness. But that's all I'm really going to get into on that. Like I said, I really just want to do a do start to, to like make my life easy because I haven't even had the energy to like start a blog series. Like if you even knew, like it takes all of me to sit down now. Like I'm real profound and prolific with like writing like rap songs and I'm at about 300 songs since April of 2019 till now late November 2019, seven months, um, basically exactly seven months, just anniversary of, 
of seven months of that time period um, that I've been kind of like documenting on YouTube. Um, that's it's been about seven months since I've been hitting the the rap lyrics pretty strong and like detailing and trying to encapsulate and document like what's going on in my life, I'm trying to make some sense of it. It's been about seven months for all that. So um lost my train of thought. <laughs> I've been, what, rambling for about 10 minutes already. I guess with that said, since I lost my train of thought, let's just kind of get into my day. Um, well, I got up. I, I finally been catching up on some sleep, like much needed. Thank God. Um, Two nights ago, I got 11 hours of sleep, and I got 10 hours last night. But, like, if you even understood, like, when you have mental illness, you need my girlfriend texting me. When you, and texting me again. Hang on a second. I hope the camera doesn't shut up as I'm, like, Taking a pause. She's working. All right, she moved out seven months ago. Like, we never broke up, but she moved out. I'm trying to get her to move back in. Um, I've been going through, like, it triggered me, like, to have a real rapid, like, mental breakdown, um, like, worse than I was having that, like, drove her and pushed her away. Thank God she never broke up with me. Um, I mean, these rap songs have been a lot about that battle. And that struggle, like, trying to make sense of, like, why it's taking so long to come back. And, like, what I'm going to get into probably a lot of these blogs is, like, the experience of, like, what so much feels like a TV show or a movie being made. But, I, like, everyone, like, I'm starting to ask people, like, you sure there's no TV show? You sure there's no TV show? You sure... <laughs> there's no movie and like everyone insists no like you're delusional and like I'm starting to get frustrated so for myself like one of my goals with these blogs is just make so many blogs and then take like some software on the computer and like at worst case scenario if there's never anyone that's like see I'm assuming see uh, this is what I was going to say before I was kind of assuming like seven months ago, I guess I was sick, I kind of thought the cameras were rolling, like there was a film crew, they were just being real stealth about it. So I didn't really bother with making blogs, I just bothered with like making sure I got out of the house each day, even though that was a struggle because I was so sad and depressed that my girlfriend had moved out. I'm like, well, here's an opportunity to build my life, make some money. So when she comes back, I can provide her with a better life. And I'm like, the harder I work on this TV show or movie, like, but I never, no one ever came to me and said, here's a contract, sign it. So, I mean, I guess, like, unless my girlfriend or my mom stepped in as, like, a guardian, like, signature and told them, like, well, he has mental illness, so we'll sign for him. Like, I guess maybe there isn't. A TV show. Unless I signed something a long time ago in a hospital. I remember like I got hospitalized many years ago. Like 10, 11 years ago. And they were making me sign some stuff. And I remember some person made some slick comment like. Be careful what you sign. You better read everything. 
I was, I'm not sure if this, what's going on with me now has anything to do with that moment. But, so anyway, I'm going to make these blogs and I'm going to take the bull by the horn and kind of like, at worst case scenario, I'll make my own movie. It won't be as good as like what I was fantasizing that like some Hollywood people came to Florida and were like, they're great at like putting videos together and they're going to like, every bit of footage they get, they're putting into like some great thing for like me and I'm eventually going to get paid. So I know they have this thing like on my computer now, there's this thing called Movie Maker. It's like a piece of shit software, I'm pretty sure. It's probably pretty crappy. I've used it before to piece together my blogs. I guess if I start today, what, November, what is today? November 23rd, 2019. Um, let's say like by my birthday in February of 2020. I have like 200 blogs. I'll just make a bunch of like a documentary series, like each one an hour or two long, as much as I can make, as long as I can make each video. I'm allowed to make them like two hours long, piece together blogs, and that'll be the case. If it's an hour, then each one, and you know, I'll just have like a series of like tank lit movies, but, and I don't know, maybe I'll get another camera and like start filming some of the shit I'm gonna be talking about. Like I'll go out and film like footage of it too and put those in the videos. But I mean I guess that would give me something to do. But anyway, let me now I'm kinda like I'm just losing my voice from um this being like a fifteen minute blog already. Let me sip some coffee real quick. Basically um, there's a clone or doppelganger situation and it has a lot to do with like my girlfriend, my best friend, and me. And one of the things I've been so angry about is I see more of my best friend's doppelgangers in my neighborhood and he lives two hours away and I see millions of my girlfriend's doppelgangers and I, I should be happy like, oh, she looks like my girlfriend that makes me feel like I'm with her. But I get angry because, like, her doppelgangers will be with my best friend's doppelgangers. And very seldom are my doppelgangers. Because I don't even really see my doppelgangers, let alone my doppelgangers hanging out with my girlfriend's doppelgangers. And then my girlfriend's doppelgangers, when they're just by themselves, they snub me. Just like everyone else in the neighborhood has always done. So I'm just a big fucking lamb chop getting silenced with the silent treatment. Silence of the lambs, silence of the lamb chops, silence of Jason Lip the lamb, tank, tank the lamb, instead of tank lip, silence of tank the lamb, you know, blah, blah, black sheep or whatever. <laughs> and that's like kind of like what's going on. So, um, I woke up feeling a little more energy today than like that, like, on the verge of like suicide feeling like that that level of depression yesterday and basically all week so I'm like uh uh let me let me go with it so um there were some moments today where I walked um like I had like I got some headphone thingies for my music stream it off YouTube and I got like, it was pretty hot out, and I was wearing a sweatshirt, but I did like a five mile walk in the park, like around the lake, um, but that was like from noon to like two o'clock, this morning I, I went up to Starbucks, because y'all know I'm frequent there, I know, not like your typical, like straight out of New York street shit. It's kind of like the posh life, but I don't know. I try to bring my New York flavor into the neighborhood. Maybe that's what's clashing. Maybe they want to keep it like five star. <laughs> oh, so, so, so let me just real quick say this. So I want to get this on the first diary, first blog of the diary. This neighborhood, I'm going to sum it up like this. It's like eating shit off a silver platter. This amazing neighborhood, 
like people that's lives are not like jaded, like their personalities are not jaded from depression and mental illness, and like people not treating them right, they're probably like, yo, this is a slice of paradise, five stars. And like, I get it. The amenities are five stars. The park is real green, lots of palm trees, real clean compared to like other like cities, suburban and urban that you would go to. Like, it's kind of like a slice of paradise. It's not like on the beach paradise, but it's like an inland kind of paradise. And oddly enough, I think the management company for the five-star kind of like apartments that are here is actually called Inland. That's kind of interesting. Just for your records, if you want to follow all this. Um, just saying. We're bleeping out. If anyone's like tracking this blog, uh, I know it's weird. The way I think is weird, but whatever. Um, I'm very outside. I'm so outside the box that I'm in a deep box. That, that's kind of the foxhole of all this. And it's a real red fox. And she's got a million doppelgangers. Anyway, um, it's going to take a lot of blogs to like, tell the story. Could be an interesting movie though, right? I went to Starbucks. I went and I do this thing called the convention where I tip my hat. I wave it around. I go like this with my hands. And like, you know how like back in the day, real old school, you ask someone to like rate a girl or rate a guy. And you're like on a one to 10 scale, what would you give that guy? Or what would you give that girl? So when I go like this, that's an 11. Think about it. 5, 10, and 1 is 11. So that means I'm giving you an off the charts. You're even better than a 10. I give them kind of conveniently to be generous. I mean, maybe eventually I'll start tightening up my judgment. But that's kind of the thing. I'm so anti-judgment that if I like you, you're getting an 11. I'm not going to jade it. Or tarnish the, the whole sentiment of approving of you by then like lowering your score. You're just getting 11. Or if I'm like super happy with you, I won't even count. I'll just like flash my hands. So if I ever do videos and someone's taking the video of me rather than me sit here with a camera just stationary. And you see me going like this. That means I walk by someone and they were wearing blue. Or even more specific than blue, turquoise. Which I'll get into the whole turquoise thing. But I try to believe that when people wear turquoise, they're supporting me. Now that could also be delusional. We'll have to get into that. If you're wearing glasses, I realize a lot of people in society wear glasses. It's kind of grandiose to think, and at least I realize this, so I'm not completely crazy, although I'm pretty crazy. Um, now I, I'm so starving for like this movie, this TV show, some success to have like to come out of the seven months, so that when my girlfriend comes back, it's not the same like situation that she left before. I can say here's something different, babe. So, but I don't really have anything different to give her or show her other than, like, my, well, my treatment to her is definitely improved. And I'm not, I don't treat her in that paranoid fashion anymore, so that's good. Um, I think my paranoia overall, just in life, is starting to be up again. So, I have to, like, kind of manage that in a way where it doesn't, like, affect her. But just being honest for the blog. So I have this thing where like when people wear glasses, I start throwing the hands and tipping the hats too and twerking and maybe doing a little, you know, some crazy shit. Like it's all part of my charade. I called it at a convention. And it's like my way of like everyone snubs me and doesn't talk to me. I'm the lamb chop, silenced, ostracized, alienated blacklisted 86 in, in the neighborhood. So 
my whole thing lately is like when all else fails and no one will talk to you, talk to yourself. And that's typically like a crazy thing for people to look at you, pass them by, and see you talk to yourself. You look even more crazy than just having something written on a paper at a psychiatrist's office that says you have this mental illness or this mental illness. You start looking the part where you're actually doing physical things that people can be like, oh, the guy that talks to himself? Yeah, I've seen him. He's a fucking weirdo. Like, but I said, fuck it. You know, maybe I'm not getting the movie because... I was too, like, figurative with the mental illness. Maybe I need to show the cameras, like, people are so, need to see things in layman's terms. They need to see something chapstick on some Charlie Chap, Chaplin, like something physical in order to understand it. So what do people always think about if you tell them you're crazy, or someone tells you, oh, that guy's crazy, the first thing they probably ask is, does he talk to himself? You know, people are kind of ignorant, so I'm like, I'm kind of reducing myself to the ignorance to illustrate a bigger point that I maybe haven't gotten out and painted that canvas full yet to, like, make my real punchlines to society. But, um, you know, a friend recently said, lay one brick a day and maybe eventually you get there. I'm not mentioning any names. But, uh, you know, so kind of like this charades that I'm starting to go into and these conventions that I hold by myself, where, like, society wants to pass by me with a shitload of traffic, but literally no one gives a fuck about me or interacts with me, well, I'm going to utilize them. If they're going to access my space and access me and get close to me and even affect me in the sense of how it angers me that people are so lousy and know you're the guy that's always alone but still won't talk to you, I'm going to start kind of making, using them for my advantage. So, you know, I'm painting a canvas. Which maybe it never really gets fine-tuned or tweaked out. And it's just going to look like a little scribble. And maybe I make an even bigger circus act to myself by talking to myself. But I think I'm like on to something brilliant. So I'm going to go with it. And then I... As I go through it each day, then I'm going to come to these blogs and talk to you all about it. So I held a little convention when I got my Starbucks coffee. I brought it over to this little spot on a brick wall. And I sat there and I rated, <laughs> I rated people. I personally think it's kind of funny. A guy that no one will talk to, that's constantly by himself. Even his girlfriend is never around. You know, so most people probably don't even think I have a girlfriend. And that's kind of sad, too, because she used to be pretty good at spending a lot of time with me. And she would say, you know, what are you so paranoid about? I'm with you every second of the day. What could I possibly be doing? That was like her defense when I would, like, be accusatory. Now, it's like the opposite. When is she with me? So, you know, it's ironic. So I had this convention... And I threw a little something different. It's, it sucks that I'm first starting the blogs now because <clears throat> it would have been nice to have done these blogs when I first started holding these quote-unquote conventions.